At least three dead, 15 injured in Gilroy Garlic Festival shooting. Gunmen also dead a shooting at the famed Gilroy Garlic Festival on Sunday evening left at least three dead and 15 injured, sending hundreds of terrified visitors running for their lives. The popular food festival at the Garlic Capital of the World in Santa Clara County was about to close around 5.30 p.m. when at least one gunman opened fire. Authorities said police officers fatally shot the assailant, but they were continuing to investigate whether he had an accomplice. Gilroy Police Chief Scott Smithy said witnesses reported that a second man was somehow involved, but police were still searching for him. He said the gunman was able to circumvent the festival's security by entering from a creek area and cutting through a fence. The gunman was not immediately identified and Smithy said the motive was unclear. Authorities said the scene was still active late Sunday night, with dozens of law enforcement officers from agencies around the region swarming the scene. Witnesses reported hearing multiple rounds fired by a gunman armed with a rifle and dressed in what looked like a tactical vest and camouflage fatigues. KNTV reported that six-year-old Stephen Romero of San Jose was killed in the shooting. His mother and grandmother were also injured, according to the NBC station. Taylor Pellegrini, 25, said she was sitting on a bench near the food court with her boyfriend and two friends when she heard the sound of firecrackers. When the pops continued and people started running, she realized they were in danger. People were yelling, active shooter, active shooter, and some people tripped and stayed on the ground so bullets didn't hit them, she said. People were under tables and dropping their phones and whatever they had in their hands, founded in 1979. The Gilroy Garlic Festival bills itself as the world's greatest summer food festival. The three-day event, held at Christmas Hill Park in the town southeast of San Jose, is hosted by community volunteers and raises money for local schools, charities and non-profit organizations.